Hello, this is Avnish, Stock Multi Cloud Solution Architect with PMware. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to configure Azure files with Azure VMware solution. It's a simple four step process for accessing Azure files from VMware solutions. The step one is the basic step where you will deploy Azure VMware SDTC. In the second step, you will create an express route to connect. Uh, Azure VMware SDDC to Azure services. And then step three is you create a storage account and file shares. And step four is you access uh, as, uh, access file files, Azure files from the virtual machine, which is running on top of VMware Azure solution. So let's get into the step number one, deploy Azure VMware SDDC. So for this demonstration, I have already deployed a VMware, Azure VMware solution in my lab. If you can see, there is a, there is a, a MCA IBS demo SDDC has been already deployed in the East US region, which is having num num number of hosts is three. And these are the IP blocks. And if you go a little bit deeper in identity section, you can check the web client URL, a vSphere client URL basically, and you can connect to NSX uh, manager URL. So I've already connected to one of uh, my vCenter, which is this, which is having around uh, three hosts and a couple of resource pool. And one, one of the application which is running in this resource pool app 01, on this application, we will access the Azure files. Similarly, I've also connected to NSX and I can see what all networking has been configured. And I have created a new segment for this demonstration. And this segment is, is called 10.121.14.1 for files. And this virtual machine, this virtual machine, if you see, is hosted on this particular segment. Let's move to step number two. In this step, we will create express route to connect to Azure services. So in order for our AVS private cloud to connect to Azure services, we need something for it to connect to. And this will be a virtual private gateway. And in order to create a virtual private gateway, we will have to put this virtual private gateway into a virtual network. So let's go to the Azure portal and let's create Azure private gateway. Now I'm on the portal. Uh, I have to create a virtual network gateway. Click on virtual network gateway. For this demonstration, I have already created a virtual network gateway named MCA network gateway demo. If you see here, this virtual network gateway of type express route. And this has been connected to a virtual network of, of AVS. This has been deployed into the same region where my uh, AVS solution has been deployed. Now, head back to AVS solution and take a look of connectivity. If you click on Express Route, we can check our Express Route ID, a private peering ID, some authorization keys, now, in order to peer with this expert route circuit, we need to request an authorization key, which is very easy process. You can click and request an authorization key. I have already requested one authorization key for this demonstration, which is express route peering of this key. <clears throat> we need to take a note of this uh, express route peering and then uh, express route ID. And now, once we have copied the express route ID and express route peering, we need to go back to our virtual private virtual network gateways 
and within the network gateway, inside the connection, if we add a connection, here we can create an express route connection and you important thing is you have to click on redeem authorization and that's where you will put your authorization key and peer circuit id which we have copied in the previous step once this is done you click on ok and this will set up uh, express route connection between avs solution and azure native services i have already done this if you click on if you see this this is connected to a with this peer and this completes step number two. Now let's move to step number three, create a storage account and file share. So let's go to Azure portal. Let's go to Azure portal again and click on storage account. Here for this demo station, I have already created an storage account named AVS2 file, which is of type storage V2. And it is in the same region where my SDDC has been deployed. This storage will be accessed over private connection. I have already added one private connection with these details. Important thing to note here is that this private connection is of type file. So that, that means only SMB uh, or NFS can be accessed by using this private connection. Now go back to the storage account, click on file share. Here you can create your file shares. I have already created a file share named file share. And if you click on these three dots, it gives you an option to, uh, to connect. Click on that connect, and it will give you a uh, PowerShell, is, PowerShell script that you can use to connect this share from the virtual machine, which is running on VM, VR solution, Azure VMware solution. Let's copy this script for now. Now let's move to step number 04 which is our final step, access files using SMB. And to access the files, we need to connect to our Windows virtual machine, which is hosted on Azure VMware solution. So this is the virtual machine, uh, app 01. I have taken the web console of this virtual machine within this console. Let's open, let's open the, the PowerShell console. Once the PowerShell console is, has been opened, also check there is no uh, no any, no mount, no drive has been mounted on this virtual machine. Now let's let's paste the script which we have copied in the step number zero three into the PowerShell window. It will try to initiate the connection uh, with Azure files. And once this has been connected, this will automatically mount that the Azure file as a J drive on the virtual machine. If you see, this is successfully mounted with the drive name J, J and with the size of one gigabyte uh, and which is not being used at all. And if you browse your directory, it will show you that this has been mounted as a jet drive and you can go inside it and create files and folder, whatever you need it. That's it for the demo. Thank you for watching.